After graduating from West Alabama, then known as Livingston University, Coach Philip Lawley coached first at his alma mater, South Choctaw Academy, where he had been a three-sport all-state athlete, then at Warrior Academy and Demopolis. The first head coach at North Jackson in 1988, Lawley's teams went 90 and 36 over his 11 seasons, winning the 1993 state championship. In 1999, he joined Auburn University's coaching staff, helping the Tigers win the national championship in 2010. Lolly concluded his career coaching in the Canadian Football League, helping Edmonton win the Grey Cup. He earned Coach of the Year honors at football and baseball and coached in the Alabama-Mississippi All-Star Classic. I always loved to play. I, I, I didn't care what it was. And I know a lot of people say that, but I was possessed with competing. I, I want to win. And the guy that was most special to me was my high school football coach, William Elmore. He was somebody that you looked up to. He was somebody in my life that I trusted. And he's the one that told me you know, several times when I was his quarterback in high school and things, he said, you need to get into coaching. And all of a sudden, you know, your time goes off as a player. And you're like, how can I stay close to this? And the answer was the coaching. So it's something that I really never want to do anything else. I was the first guy ever hired in North Jackson High School. And uh, I went in there and I, I, like I said, I fell in love with that place and uh, it was just great for me and my family. The rest is kind of history. I mean, those guys bonded together and those kids, I mean, they were some hard-nosed, tough kids and, you know, we're gonna hustle, we're gonna run on off the field, we're gonna do the little things. It was more than the X's and O's. I wanted to be remembered more than just a football player. I wanted to be successful. Well. When you're coaching, those same things I felt, I, I, I coached them, I, I taught that. I'd put my kids' grades up against anybody else. And I think anybody that wins, it, it's not the X's and the O's, it's all the other stuff, the relationships, how you get them to play, the truth, they, they see the truth. I think what made Coach Live successful here was his love for the communities. His drive was, he worked. I mean, he worked relentless. But in order to, for us to have success, we had to bring everybody together. And Coach Light did a tremendous job of blending all these communities together. What he demanded from his players was the same thing he gave, everything. And he brought that, that toughness, but what he did here, I think, was monumental. And he got the most out of every kid that ever played because he treated you with respect and he just demanded excellence. In classroom, on the field, at home. It's generational, you know, we have a lot of second generation chiefs and they still require the same thing of their kids. No coach gets to where he gets to without some help. I had some great assistants, uh, guys, that great teachers. And I was blessed to have a football wife. I really was. Anne was great, she was great. Uh, as a mother, and she was just, every one of them was her sons too. She was a, a great athlete you know, growing up herself, so she understood. So, hey, I was a lucky guy. I don't care if you're pro, college, high school. If you're a good coach and you're a good teacher and you don't mind working it out, and, and, and you know, you, you can do anything you want to. You know, I, I always consider myself a high school coach first, more than a college coach, more than a pro coach, and, and I've been blessed, but my memories, the high school coach in me is the most precious and heartfelt more than the others.